we're heading out to the shelter to see how it weathered the winter storms that we've just had and uh, check it out as well. We're going to pick up a game camera that I use to uh, monitor any any action near the shelter. So I'll be sure to upload some of those videos if there's anything exciting. We're walking through a field full of tracks, sun shining. What a great day in the woods. I'm also going to take a minute and showcase for you a new piece of gear that I uh, modified and uh, another thrift store find which has found its way down its way over my shoulder and full of gear. It's my new haversack. As well, I want to thank a couple of people who mentioned that I should take my survival belt, provide a link up top, uh, and turn it into a shoulder strap. That's also what I've done and uh, really serving a dual purpose now. And I'll show you the contents of that, but also want your input uh, at the end of the video to uh, share what other items could fit in that uh, survival belt. And, uh, and I'll make sure they go from the comments into the belt. So let's check out the day. Got about an hour to kill. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy the sunshine. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the green iron. Hey, it's Jeff off the gridiron. I'm out here at the property and uh, we haven't been back for a little while. So we're gonna, oh, partridge, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> anyways, we're gonna go check in the shelter, make sure everything's intact. I had a game camera left in here uh, quite some time ago. And uh, it's far enough back in here that I know nobody would really bother. But it's always nice to see if there's any animals certainly passing the trail and passing the front of the shelter or whatnot and it's surrounded by tracks so this is uh this is a great sign i love seeing tracks that's the best part about the uh, kind of winter hiking because it's whoa, really evident where everything is has been and continues to travel to and from their their spots. So let's get back in the woods here and check on the shelter, shall we? So already I can see the game camera. That's exciting because I actually wasn't completely sure where I left it. So I'll leave it there for now. Here's the shelter and it's present condition. There's the fire pit and the swing arm. I think the only thing that saved the shelter from failure is the number of cross members I had across and uh, that really eliminated some of the, uh, the, the heavy snow and pockets from wrecking the shelter. But we're going to bang out some of that. I can see a little bulge at the back there so I might Run another one through there. We've got some dry wood ready to rock. And uh, I think next time too, I'm going to continue this right to the back and uh, fill it in, Clo totally enclose it. So that'll be for another day. Okay, there's the shelter. All those billows were full of snow and ice, so we cleared it all the way down off the back and uh, Stomped out the fire pit a little bit, but uh, it's getting on in the day, and I still want to show you my new haversack. So let's go find a nice place in the sun, and we'll check that out. Hey guys, beautiful day. It's uh, March 9th, and it's about uh, plus two. Beautiful day out. And I thought what a great time to uh, showcase for you a new piece of gear, and uh, some of the contents that I've carried on this uh, this little uh, day hike of mine. So <clears throat> it's always a good idea to bring some gloves along, and... Uh, Obviously for handling uh, some of the wood, fire, 
odd items and just uh, anytime you're working with the saw it's a nice safe safe addition to your kit uh, obviously I brought along my silky big boy to do some of the, the processing and working on the shelter at the shelter I just pick up my game camera I always like to see some of the uh, see uh, some of the wildlife that might be checking out the area so this was a new bag I picked up at the uh, uh, actually the local thrift store for four dollars. I just want to show you some of the uh, Contents and some of the mods I did to it originally it came with this um, Kind of shoulder bag shoulder belt, but what I did was and you saw this in the former video you saw the uh, My kind of safety belt security belt that I used for uh, You know wearing out and about you never know when you're gonna need something and this is my modification of uh, a shoulder strap and zipper from uh, an old bag. I zipped it together and now it makes a really great uh, survival belt. I'll go over the contents of that when, uh, if we have time later today. So in the bag itself, there's outside pocket, always quick and handy. Uh, I keep uh, uh, a knife and in this case, I've got a coffee and I used an old uh, EpiPen tube, tube for a, uh, coffee dispenser never leave home without that uh, a compass and uh, <clears throat> that's in the top pouch here and inside I came away today with a number of different items thinking I was going to be staying for lunch but uh, never made it that far here's uh, one thing I want some of you to be aware of this is obviously one of those steamers you get at the dollar store but one of the additions I made to it was I grabbed a probably a six, five or six inch um, kind of a hose clamp or pipe clamp, and to stop that flaring of the kind of the steamer, I just dropped that around it to keep it give it some rigidity and support, and now it won't flare out. And if you had a pot, you can put it on there; it doesn't flare out out of the way. So that might be a new addition to some of you that are trying some of these uh, stir fry. Uh, you know stir fry twig stoves and I think Mark Young and a number of other youtubers out there have really contemplated and played with this idea but that's one extra piece to the kit that I know for me has made it really worthwhile it really stops that flaring out from happening <clears throat> little Esbit stove there for coffee should I need it and obviously many of us have seen the old IKEA stove but instead of using it like like this with the open top and worrying about bars I inverted mine cut a window in the side left this bar across the back for rigidity and I have an old cup that I found at uh, a local dollar store cut away the the top to allow a little more access for twigs or just for heat and flame and that fits not only from inside just with millimeters of give to the top and the lid from an old paint can for it fits perfectly on the stove but I can use it underneath as a as an ash pan as it were so that goes on there like like so now I'm gonna have to show you in another video this was an old um, spring wire from uh, a lamp uh, a shop lamp but that can now be fitted in to your uh, your pot to give you that kind of the hanger effect like so hang over the fires on its own or on top of the on top of the fire on top of the twig stove so that was a quick quick little something that I brought along with me it's also here in the kit some lunch noodles and waters but the quick kit itself is pretty handy and uh, for <laughs> lack of a better word it's like a bushcraft purse if you will but some of the mods I made to it I uh, reinforced the steams put the uh, stitching on there added a snap buckle reinforced all these buckles by stitching uh, improving the stitching so they no longer can pop out so a side pouch, front pouch on both sides, another pouch on the other side. That's where I put my uh, 
multi-tool if it's not on my waist, uh, no pad of note papers, survival kit, uh, first aid kit, and tinder, uh, tinder pot pouch. And I added a couple more clips to the bottom as well as this one. It serves as a spare spot to store extra buckles. And also if I was to strap on, maybe throw on my uh, sweater or coat underneath that if I was to uh, ever get overheated. There's a pouch on the outside for a quick accessible pieces as well, as well as on the front. And I might even hang some tools off here that would uh, easily roll up out of the way. Zipper, which I really like, and again, <laughs> really uh, kind of purse type concept. Pouches along the side, zipper inside, all keep things compartmentalized and very accessible uh, when you need it. So that's been a handy as well. Put on the uh, off the gridiron logo on the front. It really adds a touch of touch of class and personality to the bag. So uh, we're going to change the camera up here and uh, zoom in a little bit on my survival belt. Okay, so here's the survival belt as I was showing in a previous video. I'll provide the link up top. Um, obviously, you see the, the buckle there. So kind of a left to right. This quick pull tab opens up and uh, we can see my, I've got uh, a Leatherman survival tool and these straws provide uh, they're tinder they're full of um, kind of q-tips soaked in Vaseline so there's two of those waterproofed as well Let's keep going down the zipper this is a flip out knife that uh, really really adds that extra little security to have an extra blade on hand keep going down the zipper camera lights causing me some grief here we've got a fire steel wrapped with duct tape inside an old uh, 243 casing but that casing can uh, act as a whistle as well so really really handy to have that big length of paracord obviously to uh, to use for whatever bow drill um, snares whatever if you needed to little file, a little nail file, put an edge on a knife or doing some uh, finer work on some blades whatnot. A little bit of money, lighter, continue all the way around. <clears throat> the zipper is just binding on the, the bag inside. There's a bag here full of all my um, kind of fishing contents just to protect it from the hooks and then we've reached the other side so that's a quick little um, bag I can I have a good length of space in the back where I can add more items this was a few items I added last night but uh, other items may include uh, uh, perhaps some band-aids um, a little pocket compass uh, I really have fire looked after here with all the, uh, the fire items um, I don't know. Comment below. Let me know what else uh, you think I should carry in this this uh, um, this survival pouch, and uh, we'll definitely have some space to fit those contents in. <clears throat> so again, that belt is uh, certainly optional to be uh, to worn, or in this case, it really doubles up as that shoulder strap, so I can click it in at either end. Here's another thing off the end of this bag is a, a big ring and that's a perfect spot where I can hang my axe or hatchet off that ring. And this is a little Velcro zip tie that you like to use right at the top to hold the two, two belts together. I haven't ruled out that I'm gonna, not going to take the one off, but this is uh, sometimes those plastic buckles have a, have a habit of failing and uh, certainly the original uh, cotton one is in brass. Uh, rings is, is has been known to last me a little more durable so that's my haversack kit and uh, let's get it all packed up and head on at home thanks for joining me on this uh, kind of beautiful spring day it feels like uh, obviously I just wanted to go for a quick walk and showcase some of the contents on my haversack I didn't really get into the, the use of some of those. That will be uh, reserved for another video. Some of the pieces you've seen, I'll provide links to the, uh, the survival belt, but I hadn't until this time used it uh, with contents and, uh, and or 
kind of packed it with some of those contents. But if you think of anything else that could be used in that survival belt and fit it into that, uh, that belt, please leave it in the comments below. I'll definitely check it out and get back to you. In fact, the, uh, the idea to use the, uh, the belt as a shoulder strap uh, came from one of my uh, subscribers. So thank you very much. And, uh, and uh, it's found its place onto my haversack as a dual purpose item. Uh, shelter looks like it's in good shape. We uh, only went there to pick up the game camera. We, uh, we've really short on time today. So it looks like it weathered uh, most of the winter quite well. I wasn't able to, uh, to get out for an overnight, but uh, all in all, it looks like it, uh, it stood up to the winter and really excited about that. So, until next time, Jeff Allen off of Great Iron. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying your outdoors in the spring that's coming real soon. Take care. See you again.